my name is Teacher Sylvia with Options for Learning, and today's activity is a counting activity. Um, we're going to use the concept of, of frogs and frogs leaping on lily pads. So what you'll need is um, paper. If you have any green construction paper, great. If not, you can use white. So you need some white paper, some scissors. Uh, you need a die. And if uh, you don't have dye, we'll be using the paper to make one. Um, you'll need a cup, a marker, and some kind of marker that you're going to use to show your um, spot on the game that we're going to make. So I have little frogs that I got at uh, the Dollar Tree there, um, but you can use a penny or a magnet, anything for a game piece to use on the board. So what you'll do is you will go um, use your paper to cut out a lily pad. Um, lily pads are, you know, somewhat oval with an open cut in the front. Um, you just use your imagination to cut a lily pad. Maybe you can research it with your child what a lily pad looks like, and they can help you draw it, and then you can cut out a lily pad shape. So for our game board, um, you know, ask your child. How many lily pads should we make for our game? And maybe you could decide how many you want to make. Uh, you can have your child cut out the lily pads and then have them place the lily pads. Once you cut them into uh, like a game board, something like when you play Candyland or uh, when you play any sort of board game like um, the game of life, where you uh, have a little path with your game pieces. You know, have your child design a path, or maybe you can model them what it means to do that. Um, and if you like, you can indicate where you're going to start and where you're going to finish. And ask your child to write those words. If they know how to write their letters, encourage them to write those pieces, and then you can use those in your game board. So um, if you have the die, what you're going to do is you're going to put your game pieces here or your markers that you're going to use and you're going to have your child roll the die. And so when they roll it, they'll count the dots that they see on the die. So they'll count one, two, three, four, five. And so then that's how many spaces they will move their game piece. And they'll count one, two, three, four, five. So counting the, the dots and counting the spaces. So if you don't have a die at home, then what you could do, if you'd like, you can use some paper, some scissors, and your marker to make uh, squares. And here I um, emulated the, the die here by making the dots onto the paper. And what you could do is just maybe place them in a cup or a box of some sort. And um, you can just have them in the cup there and just blindly pull out a, um, one of the papers and have your child count how many dots they see and then place it back in when they're done and just keep pulling out pieces from your cup. And um, so then, you know, everybody will take a turn until the completion of the game, until they're finished. And if you want, you could, you know, have your child make a different type of pattern or a different type of setup for the game, um, just to get the, their imagination going with um, moving the pieces around and focus on the counting of the dots and counting the same number of uh, jumps from lily pad to lily pad. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your activity.